Shangan quotes from Zimbabwe. In this case, uh, I can immediately see we have a good representation of amethyst here. Most likely some smoky running through it as well. Lovely fire on this piece. Now the coating around the edges, yeah, the white material would be some chalcedony, very thin layer of chalcedony. Just zoom in on that. And then we go across like this. And the material at the bottom of the crystal, that, would be a, a girthite after siderite or even siderite, uh, which has which has coated part of the crystal. Now let's look at the color of this guy. Quite, quite. These are always best appreciated when held in hand or, or actually seen with the eye. The form itself would, would lead me to, well, we're looking at a scepter of sorts here, definitely. When we look through the edges, you'll see some little black shots inside there, and that would be hematite trapped inside the quartz crystal. Color-wise, well, definitely the amethyst undertone, and then some smoky running through it, which is quite typical to this deposit. Um, the chalcedony coating, the thin layer of chalcedony, is not uh, obtrusive at all, because there's an underlying patterning to the, the coating as well, as you can see here. It actually has a point of interest. Um, I find it quite appealing. And of course, this is all the way from Zimbabwe. Um, quite, quite exquisite. Now, what's so uh, uh, not noticeable about this deposit is, first of all, the forms of the quartz crystals and also uh, with good backlighting, there's this explosion of color, usually a smoky and an amethyst all intermingled. Lovely piece. And size-wise, we're looking at at least, well, uh, just under two inches, I think, edge to edge.